WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you from the shores of uh, beautiful Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a bit of a mixed bag out there. That mix now is coming from the semis, which are trading up. They're basically flat. They're up by uh, six points. The other U.S. indices are trading to the downside. You've got the Dow off 145, four tenths percent, three tenths for the S&P, or 15 points, four tenths for the Nasdaq 100, 68 points there, nine tenths for the Russell. That's a 17 point move, and one and three tenths for the Trannies. They're back 20, 205 bucks now. So Silver is off a uh, buck. That's down nearly 4%. A little over 2% for gold. That's $53 to the downside. Light three crude is off a buck 20. That's 1.5%. You've got the 30 year Treasury print out 114.02. That's back about a half a point. And natural gas is up one penny. She traded out at 204. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini. Right now, it still has an A to B equal CD to the upside pattern. Initial price projection, 51.87. As long as that spot follow to index remains below its 50-day exponential moving average, that is a likely outcome. The 50-day is printed at 15.15. Price is at 14.83. Watch those levels. If we take a look at the NQ, it has an A to B equal CD pattern to the upside. Initial price projection up at 17.990. Now, yesterday's high out there was up at the 17,791 area. Still a bit too far to say it completed that pattern. So likely that's going to be its price target. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's been trading sideways for a couple of weeks. Still really doing the same thing out there. But gold is not trading sideways. It's moving lower. And right now it's testing the bottom of its daily profile. That first key support level is down at 23.1750. If price closes below that, we get down to 22.7870, the bottom of its weekly profile. But will that hold? I don't know. But right now, we can take a look at high ho silver and see that it is testing the bottom of its weekly profile. And that's at 2683. Now, it's only Tuesday. It doesn't matter where it's trading on Tuesday. Of course, it does matter a little bit, but it really matters where does it close on Friday. You've also got price trading below the bottom of its daily profile. But 2683 is a key area of support. Uh, Light Street Crude is testing support. The bottom of its daily profile, that's at the 8133 level. Natural gas, yeah, had a little bit of excitement yesterday, but that thing is just in a side sideways consolidation pattern and the 30-year treasury continues to find resistance it's got to buy the d point bottom but it is unable to clear that 114.26 level that is the center of its daily uh, so, yeah of its daily profile folks if you would stay tuned for the trader's ed show but if you have to start your tuesday please have a terrific one and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon take care now